hello my name is Alexis and today we are doing this look right here with a ton of new stuff. Almost everything is new actually. There's like three things I think that are not new. So there's that. Um, so if you want to see how I did this look, what the new products were, and what I thought of them, then just keep watching. So it's so much new stuff, I can't even handle it. And so the first thing I'm going to use is this Laura Mercier foundation primer. I got I got the original and the um, Radiance in my gratis, but for today I'm just going to use the regular one, not the Radiance one, just because I don't know what kind of finish the foundation that I'm going to use is going to have, and I don't want to make it weird. I love the, ooh, it's cold. <laughs> I love the um, Laura Mercier Translucent Loose Powder. If you've been here for a while, you know that, so I think I used too much of this. But that's okay. <laughs> Just blend it in. It kind of smells like a little sunscreeny. Just a little bit. A little bit sunscreeny. Next, I have this foundation from Lancome. This is actually a discontinued foundation, which is why I got it um, in my gratis. But it's the Tint Visionaire. Um, I have the shade 220 Buff C, which. Um, is going to be a cool tone shade, so it's probably not going to match me, but that's okay. This has SPF 20. I was reading about this foundation because I wasn't sure about it. I had never heard of it before, and it turns out it's being discontinued, but from the reviews I was seeing of it, people, like, absolutely love this foundation. Jess, what are you doing? Get out! Sorry. Uh, people love this foundation, and they are, like, asking Lancome to please bring it back, so I have high hopes for it. I hope it's good. Uh, using the viewfinder founder finder as my mirror so I can't really tell if it matches or not. This smells like sunscreen also, but this does have SPF 20 in it, so there's a reason this one smells like sunscreen. I need a mirror, I can't see what I'm doing. Oh, it's red. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Can you guys see how red it is? Oh my god, look at that! <laughs> oh my god, that's okay, I'm not going anywhere. I'm just doing stuff around the house <laughs> today, so it doesn't matter if it matches or not. Oh my god, it's red. Wow. Okay, so I have that on. Besides the fact that I look crazy because my face and my neck are two completely different colors, but like I said, I'm not going anywhere today, doesn't matter. Um, I, I like how it looks. It's very dewy. Do you, look at the dew. Look at the dew. So I like that. Great coverage. Don't even really think I need to spot conceal all that much. Um, yeah, it's just not the right color. <laughs> but like I said, that's okay. So let's move on. Uh, I might, I'm gonna have to change my concealer plans a little bit, but that's okay. So I was going to use this corrector from NARS, which is in the shade Pear, which is kind of yellow. If my foundation was the right color, that would be fine. Um, however, since it's not, change of plans. Instead, I'm going to use this concealer from them. I think this stick concealer has been discontinued. They have a new concealer anyways, but I've already used that and I really like it. Um, this is the shade Honey, and it, like I said, it's just a stick concealer, so I'm going to use this to conceal. It might be a little light, but that's okay. It's more red, pink, peachy, so it'll match the foundation a bit better. So I'm just gonna draw it under my eyes, I guess, and then take my Micro Mini, whoops, that I almost dropped on the floor, and blend it out. Okay, it's a little light. <laughs> it kind of looks like a highlight. It looks like a reverse raccoon, but it's okay. The undertone is a bit better. I think once I have like my, my, um, I shadow and all that on, you're not going to be able to tell anyways. So, it's like really creasy. Like extra creasy, I think because it's a stick. Maybe that's why it got discontinued. I don't know. But I'm going to set that really fast before I move on. I'm just going to use my regular um, Laura Mercier powder. <laughs> was that weird that I was just like throwing it? Okay, so before I set the rest of my face, where did it go? I have a liquid highlighter that I would like to try. This is the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector Liquid. This is in the shade Opal. 
Usually I use Moonstone, but that's all right. We'll see what happens. <laughs> I think it might look crazy with this foundation. The foundation's really glowy itself, but I know I'm going to lose some of that when I powder, so let's let's add some highlighter. I'm just going to put it on the tops of my cheekbones. I'm just going to blend it with my finger. No big deal. I'm sorry if you can hear the cat cleaning herself <laughs> in the background. She always thinks she's dirty, even when she's not. And now I just flat out took too much. <laughs> Down my nose, Cupid's bow. And just because I don't want to waste it, I'm going to put more on my cheekbones. <laughs> and now I'm going to set the rest of my face. Okay, so I have that powdered. You can still see the glow. Um, but that's mostly the highlighter. I lost a lot of the glow from the foundation itself, but I like how it looks. So I'm going to fill in my brows real fast and prime my eyes because none of that is new. So for eyeshadow, I have the Tardis Pro To Go. I'm going to be very honest with you here. Um, the full-size Tardis Pro palette is awful. So my hopes for this... The bar is so low, <laughs> cannot get any lower, so let's see what happens. Um, there's only six shades in here, four of them, oh, I'm trying not to blind you. Four of them are matte, and then these two are the duochrome shades, but they're not even really duochrome, but that's okay. It's just, you know, advertising. So let's see what's going to happen. I really like this shade right here, which is called Dominant. Um, I don't know. Let me just zoom you in. We'll figure it out together. Hello. Are you close enough? This brow looks much darker than this brow. It's just my lighting. Anyways, I think I'm going to start with Drive. Um, oh, I thought the shade was matte. It's not. Sorry. It's like satiny. Anyways, I'm going to start with Drive, which is the lightest matte shade. Mm, it's like, a, it looks like it should be a good transition color. It might be a little bit too light, but we'll see what happens. I'm gonna put that, oh, it's fine, in and above my crease. Yeah, that's fine. There we go. Easy. Okay, so uh, I kind of just want to put that color all over the lid, but I'm not gonna do that. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put Boss on the lid, which is this shade up here. Um, yeah, so I'm going to take that shade, put it on my lid. How many times can I repeat myself? Mm, all right, it's going on. I like really loaded up my brush. All right, there we go. Good. Looking good. Just really load up your brush though, because I think if you only like put a like do a couple taps or swipes in the product, you're not gonna get a lot of color payoff off of it. But loading my brush up really seemed to work, because that looks fantastic. On the edges. Next I'm gonna take this shade, which is called Stylin. It's brown, but it has like a little hint of a purple to it. So I'm going to put that on the outer corner, right here. I've got to build this up. There we go, better. <sighs> These shades are really powdery, so like when you dip in them, you get like some some kick up of powder which doesn't bother me but if that bothers you just let me know so all in the outer corner there a little bit kind of up into my crease area and that I'm gonna blend over through the crease a little bit blending 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 blend until your arm falls off Alright, don't, don't blend that much, but, you know, just blend until you're happy with it. And 
and blend where that meets uh, the lid shade. I'm just going to re-intensify that lid shade on the inner corner a little bit. I feel like we kind of lost it. See, look at how much better that looks. It's the little things that make a difference. So I do really want to use this red shade. <laughs> so I'm going to put that on the lower lash line. Like I said, that shade's called Dominant. Um, just put it on the lower lash line. I have to kind of blend this down kind of far. That's fine. No matter how much I build it up, it's not going to look like what I want it to look like. Mm. I'm, I might just have to experiment with that color a little bit more to find like the perfect place for it, for it to really like pop and stand out. I don't know. I don't know. Moving on, to highlight my brow bone and my inner corner, I'm going to use the shade Hype, which is like this really um, it's like a pale gold. I just hope it doesn't show up too gold. Oh, it's a little bit golder than I wanted it to be. That's okay. It's right under the brow. And right in the inner corner. So that's the eyeshadow done. Let's just finish off the eyes and then I'll give you like my opinion on this. Um, I have the same, oops, the same black liner that I've been using, the NYX Retractable Liner in Black. However, for my lashes, I have the uh, L'Oreal Voluminous Primer and then the L'Oreal Voluminous Feline Noir Mascara. So I'm going to use those and I have a new eyelash curler. This one is the Sephora Collection Show Curl Lash Curler. Um, this one is for all eye shapes. Um, so yeah, I'm going to do that. <laughs> okay, so here are the eyes done. The mascara I don't like. I didn't like the wand. Even just opening the wand, I was like, I'm not going to like this. Because it's, it's a plastic wand, which is fine. However, the bristles are so teeny tiny. There's, there's just... Now I'm trying not to drop the bottle over. Hold on a second. Do you see how tiny the bristles are on this wand? They're so tiny. So I got a lot of, like... Like, I think you can see. I got a lot of volume out of it. Like, my lashes look really long. But they're also clumpy like they're stuck together and I know it's the mascara and not the primer because the primer was fine my lashes didn't clump together with the pr mascara primer it was when I was actually putting the mascara on that I was like I got spider legs but lashes so I probably wouldn't use this a lot or even again after this like they're really black but they're not as separated as I want them to be so no <laughs> um the eyeshadow looks fine. That's it. The eyeshadow just looks fine. Somehow this shade looks more red in real life than it does in the camera, and I don't know how it turned red like that, but okay. Anyways, I'm just going to finish off my face. Oh, and I like the eyelash curler. Um, I'm just going to finish off my face. Nothing really new there. I have like literally no new things for contouring or bronzing and all that, so I'm just gonna like speed through it. <laughs> all right, face is done. You can still see that glow from the highlighter slash foundation, because now I'm not sure which it is. Probably the highlighter by now. Um, for the lips, I have a plethora of new lip options, so I don't really know what to go with. I can do red because it's kind of neutral enough. Mm. I don't know. I don't know what to do. Mm -mm -mm. I don't know. Let me see what I have. Alright, I have this Sweet Peach, um, what are these called? Creamy Peach Oil Lip Gloss. I'm not gonna do that one. I have this from Tarte, oh, I forgot what it's called. Quench, Rainforest of the Sea Lip Quench or something like that. This is in the shade Nude. Um, no. Not feeling that one. I have a NARS Lip Gloss. No. Um, I have some stuff from Dior. I have this Rouge Dior Nude in 683 Esquies. No. Um, <laughs> let's see. I have this from Dior 775 Darling. No. Too bright. 
This one is 688 Diorette. Maybe. Oops, and this is 644 Rouge Blossom. I like this one too. This one might be too bright. It's too bright. I'm gonna go with this one. This one, I mean. Um, ooh, Jenny's dreaming. All right, going with this one. 644 Rouge Blossom. Let's see what happens. Let me take, I have a little bit of lip balm on and I was using a new lip balm, the Agave Lip Balm from Bite. Not the lip mask, the lip balm. The one in the actual stick. So let me take the remains of that off. Which I did like that. I've been wearing it throughout the whole video. Really comfortable. Feels really moisturizing and nice. I like it. Bold on bold. Do you expect anything less from me anymore? No. So I am going to set my face with the Smashbox Primer Water. And I didn't prime with this because I just don't trust this as a primer. But I was reading the product information on the Sephora website and it says you can use this as a setting spray. So that's what I'm going to use this for today. Okay, I don't know if it was, it's just this bottle, but like it was barely, like wasn't even, I had to get it really close to like actually get it on my face. And it was like hitting some bubbles where nothing was spraying for a second. So I don't really know about that. Um, but yeah, so here is the finished look. All in all, surprised by the quality of this Tarte palette. Um, the mascara, mm, bleh about. I love the way this lip color looks. If the foundation was the right color, I would wear it more, but that's okay. I like the way this highlighter looks. Um, yeah. Now that I have the rest of my eyeshadow on and stuff, my concealer doesn't look so bad like color-wise. It's still a little creasy, but I've accepted that I just have creasy under eyes, so that's not a big deal to me. Um, so yeah. All in all, pretty happy. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. All the links to all my social media will be down in the descriptions. Check me out there. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys again soon. Bye!